Hello! Hi! So this is kind of a different video. My name is B. You're watching B's Bleem Bash. Actually, I'm not selling jewelry today. This is a video that's going to be kind of quick. Um, I'm going to show you how I ship um, because I get a lot of those questions and I know that uh, boxes, etc. I will sh I will share with you where I get them from, okay? So let me go ahead and share this real quick. My goodness. This is kind of like a, a weird thing because... <laughs> I'm not used to sitting to doing my live. So, um, hi Daria, how are you? Um, oh, Teresa, you're so sweet. Let me take a minute to share this video out, okay? Just bear with me one second. Bear with me one second. Um, okay, and I don't wanna do a watch party. What's up with that? This is really weird because I never do this on my uh, share to a page. There you go. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, ladies. Hold on a second. So this is not a um, this is not a um, share to a group. This is not a selling show, okay? But I wanted to show you what what happens when I um, when I ship. And again, this is going to be really um, this is going to be informative, okay? And so if you're a consultant or you're thinking about becoming a consultant, I'm going to share with you some tips on how to save on shipping, okay? So I already shared this video. So welcome, ladies, welcome. Okay, so um, what do I use to ship? Um, so I will go ahead and post the links to... Um, to um, these, these products that I'm, that you're seeing. Okay. I use basically two types of boxes. I don't typically ship in envelopes anymore because nothing's happened to the stuff that I've shipped, but I have gotten items that were damaged in the mail from other consultants. So that's why I don't do it is nothing's ever happened to my packages. Thank goodness. You know, so hi, Jenny. Hello, ladies. Hi, hi, hi. Um, hi, Doreen. So um, I typically don't send anything out in envelopes, even if the envelope is padded, if somebody steps on it or if they throw it too hard, et cetera, you know, you never know who's delivering your packages, right? So the, the items will get, will get damaged. So the reason why it scares me is because sometimes people will buy either my last piece or a, a vintage piece that I don't have access to. So if it gets damaged, what you're going to have to do is replace it, refund it. I mean, you, you can't replace it, so you're going to have to refund it, right? So let me show you the two boxes. Hi, Allison. Let me show you the two two types of boxes that I use and I'm going to explain to you why I use them and I'm going to show you how I pack my stuff too. So this is one of the boxes that I use. Okay. This is a, a six by four by three box. The reason why I love this box is because you don't have to use tape. So I'm going to go ahead and collapse it right now. Basically it's all, it's all, um, I don't remember what it's called. It's not die cut. It's, it's, um, it's, um, it's not perforated, whatever the word is. Okay. So you see that it comes flat. So when I order these, I order them hundreds at a time. So I save a lot, a lot of money. And these are really, really super cheap. The reason why I love these is because they are really lightweight. So they're not going to add a lot of weight to your, to your, to your shipment. Okay. So basically I fold the box and like I said, you don't need tape for these. Okay. So it's already a box. You fold these inside. Hopefully it'll behave, you know. So I, I was in the middle of shipping and I thought, look, I can share these with my ladies, right? So you have a box. So what's going to happen is that I'm going to fold this over. You're going to see, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use my friend Yvette as, as, a, um, as, as an example of where, how I ship. Okay, so basically this is your box, okay? So this box actually holds a lot. I can actually ship to like a pound and a half, almost two pounds in this box, depending on what the, my, my customers order. So even though it looks really small, it is six by four by three, this actually holds a lot and it weighs almost nothing. Let me, sh let me tell you how much it weighs. I will share with you the, the, the materials I use. So this is two and a half ounces. Two and a half ounces, this is really great. If you're using the paparazzi boxes to ship, you're paying a way lot more for shipping, okay? So this is one of the boxes that I use. The other, the other size box that I use is the seven by five by five. I know my screen is backward right now because actually, let me change it right now. Um, because I'm gonna be showing you my screen. I'm gonna show you the, um, there you go. I'm gonna show you, hi Debbie, I'm very well, thank you. I'm showing shipping information right now. Um, how I ship your packages out. 
So this is a seven by five by five. Okay, so when you fold this box up to use it, you will actually need tape for this one, right? So this is a nicely, it's a corrugated box. Again, it is made for shipping. It is fairly lightweight and I buy these by the hundreds as well. So this one weighs, hold on a second, let me see if this one weighs, and I, I like to not have to use tape, you know what I mean? Because anywhere we can save money, you know? Let me see how much this one weighs. So this box weighs three ounces, okay? So three ounces for this box, about two and a half ounces for the boxes that don't need the tape. I will post the link after this video. I will post them so that you can buy them. Um, you can buy any quantity you want, really, but I found that eBay is probably is the best place for me to buy these because I buy in huge quantity and they deliver them to your house. Usually it's free shipping. So, um, I, so I will share those links with you. Okay, so that's what I use for the boxes. As far as shipping materials, the only thing I use is this. Thank you so much, Debbie. I appreciate it. You get this with every single paparazzi order. And trust me, ladies, this is like a, one of the best free gifts ever. <laughs> okay? So they come in different sizes. Okay? They come in different sizes. If you've ordered from paparazzi before, you know that these come in different sizes. You can cut them down. Like I, I, I cut one off today because I was sending out a small package right the reason why i use these is because when you pack things even though if you pack it in a box right you don't want anything to move so this adds a minimal 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 ounce to your uh to, to your boxes but it actually helps the jewelry to not swish right so if a box gets thrown for example and everything is tight in there there's less chance of your items be, um, uh, arriving damaged so you want to pack things as as tightly as possible in the box okay thank you so much i inherited it from my sister <laughs> um so this is it it actually hi priya it actually has bubble it's not very thick okay it ha it's not very thick so i will show you exactly how i package your boxes when they're going out okay so the other thing that i have here is um is a food scale <laughs> This is a digital scale. When I was with Weight Watchers long, long, long time ago, I got this for free. These are not very expensive, but you can use a digital food scale to measure, I mean, to, to weigh your packages, okay? I strongly suggest that you get a digital one because they're really, really um, accurate, all right? So this is my Weight Watchers food scale. That's what I use to weigh my packages. Obviously, you need scissors. Um, even though I use the little white boxes more than anything, I do have a boatload of tape because I do have the other cor corrugated um, boxes that I use. So I, you, you need some tape, right? And then one of my favorite things that I discovered, um, so I use a laser printer. It's, this is really important, okay? Because if you're using an inch inkjet printer, um, it's going to be a little bit uh, different for you, okay? You're gonna have to use a different sort of label or you're gonna have to use plain paper. I tried to use an inkjet paper with labels and they were a mess. But I found that the laser printer is my BFF. So what I do, and again, I will be posting links to the, these products to make it easier for you to order them if you, whenever you're ready, right? This, this is an eight and, a half, eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, okay? And it has two labels on there, you see that? This is a self-adhesive label. The thing I love about these labels, and I will post the link for you later, is that they are laser printer friendly. So if you don't have the cash right now to purchase a dedicated label maker, which I, you know, I'm like, I, 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 you know, my office is set up already. I'm not like looking to, you know, to jack my, you know, my, my vibe right now. I will eventually get a, um, get a, um, a dedicated printer. But right now what I have is a laser printer. It's a black and white laser printer. There's, there's no fuss about it. I believe, yeah, it's a brother and it's a few years old and it works perfectly. So these I love and I will show you exactly why I love them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I package the, the jewelry I'm going to show you what I use to actually generate the label. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna print up the labels and I'm going to show you exactly why I like these two by labels, okay? So this is two labels per sheet. Two labels per sheet. This is an eight and a half by 11 uh, sheet of paper. So it's like, it fits in my printer. I don't have to adjust anything. I don't have to connect something else to my computer. Nothing, all right? It's very simple. So again, to refresh, you just need the boxes. I use two sizes of boxes. If you, if you missed that part, you go ahead and watch the replay. I use the labels, the two up labels, okay? I have a digital food scale from Weight Watchers, thank you very much. I have scissors, 
which, you know, I don't know if I'll use the scissors right now. I have the tape, which I won't be using on the video because I don't need to. And then, of course, I have the paparazzi bubble wrap. The, the nice thing about the bubble wrap is that it's, it's seasonal, right? So um, during most of the year, they have the black and, and pink and white, the step and repeat. And then in the winter, it comes with the white, with the snowflakes and everything else. So it's thematic. So every time you send out a package, it's, you know, it's like season appropriate. All right. So let me go ahead and package up one of my shipments okay i decided that i was going to use um sunshine as an example so forgive my you know my my butt in your in your face all right so i'm gonna grab her stuff right here if you're wondering about my bins I got these from the Dollar Tree. What I did is I ordered them online. They do sell them in most of the stores, okay? They're a dollar each, and I basically put a bunch of them together. Um, I, the, last, the last time I bought some was, was 48. They came in two big boxes. They collapse into each other. You don't have to use all 48 or all 20. I think they come in packs of 24. You don't have to use all of them, but honey, think big, okay? Think big. Don't do like I did. I was like, I had thought, you know, envelopes would be great. I outgrew those. I thought small bins would be great. I outgrew those. So anyway, so here is um, Sunshine's product. I know, I know. Hey, Christina. Okay, so um, if you are, so this is a shipping video, okay? Um, yes, you can. You can print on regular paper. You can print on regular paper. Vetti Davis, would you mind um, tagging Yvette for me? Sunshine. Okay, I, I put my phone on a box and it, I don't really want it to like move, okay? Okay, so as a paparazzi consultant, right? When you're selling product to anybody, you want to be able to check to make sure that everything that you're sending out is okie dokie, okay? So as you know, all of the necklaces come with a staple in the bag, all right? So all I do is I eyeball the jewelry. So what I will do, typically, I won't do this for consultants. Um, I do check the jewelry, but I won't, I won't take the staple out because I, I'm assuming that you're going to resell it, okay? So um, for a regular customer, right, what I would do is I would just kind of rub the, rub the, um, the, the paper clip between my fingers and make sure that it's loose, all right? Because when the customer gets her necklace, well, the first thing she's gonna go is, whoa, look at this, and then she's gonna yank it out, right? And if it's a dainty necklace, then you're kind of SOL because you're gonna have to probably replace it for her because it's probably um, unfixable at that point, okay? So uh, so I take out the staple and I leave the, I leave the items in the bag. I ship in as much um, paparazzi original packaging as I possibly can because I, when I was a customer, I really loved the names of the jewelry, okay? So when you ship in original packaging, it's really awesome. Plus it's really protective. So I put it back, I put the necklaces back, and typically what I will do is I will put flatter items at the bottom of the box, okay? So this one is gonna go at the bottom of the box, all right? She got two necklaces from me, so there's the other the other purple heart. So basically what I do is I open the package. I will be afterwards, uh, Debbie. I'm gonna come back for a selling show after, after this video, probably in about an hour. Um, and uh, so if you follow my page, you'll be, you'll be getting a notification for when I go live. So this, again, I did the same thing. You kind of fold it back the same way it was in the paparazzi bag. I will be back with a with a live uh, selling show in a minute. I mean, in about an hour or so, because my show is already ready. But I do need to ship these out. So this one goes in the bag in in the uh, in the box, okay? So when it's in the box, I make sure that the bottom of the box is as flat as possible, okay? Because you don't want anything just kind of like sticking out and then stacking things over it. Just make it as you know as flat as possible. So she got two pairs of earrings from me, okay? Um, so. Basically what you do is you just eyeball it because sometimes the little stoppers have fallen out Sometimes there's a rhinestone missing, you know, so you eyeball it you make sure that everything is copacetic and then you put it in there Right, so she got two pairs. So she's she's golden So this basically is what my box looks like right now So she's got two earrings and two pairs of uh, and two necklaces. Okay. Hi, Sherry. How are you? Um, so uh you can see that there is lots of airspace in here. Okay, you can see that there's a lot of airspace in here. 
Okay, Greg. Hi. Bye. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the paparazzi um, step and repeat bubble wrap. Okay. The reason why I use the bubble wrap is to keep everything in place in the box. You don't want anything moving and just kind of like, because everything's going to get ruined if you do that. So what I do is I just kind of like, you know, I eyeball it. I, this doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Sometimes I roll it just to kind of take space. You see how, how much higher this thing is? You see how much higher it is in the box? So then it, when I close the box, nothing's going to move. You see that? Nothing really moves, right? So the other, the other way that I do this is that I will take one of these, right? And I will, um, maybe I should have taken a bigger one. If I were only sending her two necklaces, for example, okay, and there was a lot more airspace in here, what I will do is I will take the, the bubble wrap and I will, I, will squish the, uh, I will squish the bubble wrap in here. Because what happens is that when you do this, then nothing moves. Again, nothing moves in, out of the box, right? So you secure everything, you close the box. This is Yvette's box. So I'm going to write sunshine on here, okay? So this is her box. Nothing is moving in this box, okay? So I weigh the box real quick. So her box is gonna weigh, whoa. See, I told you there was something gonna happen. Her box weighs, let's see. Come on. Hold on a second, ladies, hold on. <laughs> hold on a second. All right, let me weigh the box real quick. That's 7.2 ounces. 7.2 is pretty is pretty on par. Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to show you the system that I use for shipping. Okay, and then you're gonna be able to see what's going on. Forgive my desk; it is a mess. I was at my shipping station, so uh, yeah, you know, just uh, kind of forgive me on that. All right, so I'm gonna walk you through what I do. Hold on a second. There you go. All right, so now you see my screen, okay? Now you see my screen. Maybe I should bring this a little bit closer, hold on. All right, okay. So, whoopsie, there you go, there you go. Okay, so what I use to ship is called PirateShip.com. PirateShip.com is free, okay? PirateShip.com is free. I use Pirate Ship because it saves me a lot on shipping. This is way, 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 way cheaper than going to the post office, okay? So what I do, um, I can do a training on Pirate Ship if you want me to at a later date, but right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you exactly how I ship packages, you know, how much it kind of like, you know, costs on average. <laughs> Yes, yar, mateys. Uh, <laughs> Christina, you're so funny. Okay, so uh, I can do a training on pirate ship if you guys want me to at a later date, but it is very, very easy to use, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this around a little bit. Oh my gosh, I know something's gonna fall. I just know it, I just know it. Okay, so here we are in pirate ship. Create your account, put in your, your um, put in your, um, what you call it? Put in your email address, pick a password, and then, you know, and then, you know, it's, it's fairly um, self-explanatory, okay? So you go over to the, uh, to the left of the screen, it says ship. You just put your mouse over it. You don't have to click anything right now. You just create a single, um, a single label, all right? Now here at the top of the screen, it also says create single label. Either way, whatever, this is the, this is the part that I use, okay? So create single label. Now, every time you enter something, every time, oh, sorry. <laughs> every time you enter, um, uh, and uh, I mean, Pirate Ship is fabulous um, because it works kind of like your database, right? So this is a really easy way to measure your business, right? Especially that we're, you know, at the beginning of the year, you can see at the end of the year how many packages you've shipped all to a total. You can do a monthly report. You can see how much you've paid. You can see how, what, your average, what your average cost per, uh, per package is. So, but every time you enter somebody's information into Pirate Ship, they, they, it, it holds on to that information, right? So, um, I'm going to ship a package to Yvette. You're going to see her name's going to pop up. Hold on. Ooh, there you go. All right. So I'm going to enter her name. If I had, you know, like thought about how I'm going to do this, that would have been awesome, right? So here is Yvette and you see how it populated all of her information, 
right? Okay, so all I have to do, um, it's really important that you add, that you enter somebody's email address into, um, into Pirate Ship. So I basically grab all of that information over from PayPal. I'm not gonna show you that right now, but basically I grab somebody's email from PayPal, I grab their name and I grab their address. I copy and paste everything because I don't wanna be typing anything. It takes literally nanoseconds to do this, okay? Um, the other thing I wanna share with you is that um, once you at, once you enter the address, you know, if you're copying and pasting from PayPal, you copy the, the, the street address and the street name, it'll typically populate with the proper state, city address, I mean, and zip code, right? Sometimes though, like if you have somebody who lives on a Lincoln Boulevard, it's probably going to, you know, come up with a bunch of states, etc. Just make sure that the information that you're entering in there is correct, okay? So, hi, hi Karen, this is an informational video about shipping. Okay, so, here you go. I have, um, I have Yvette's information in here. The last thing it's going to ask me is um, what I'm shipping in, okay? So, Yvette's box, Yvette's package is a box, okay? I know that you probably can't read that right now. Hold on, let me see. All right, there you go. Okay, so there you go. Ah, look at that. Um, so it is a rigid box, and I told you that the box is a four by six by three, okay? So I'm gonna enter that information right now. Six by four by three. If I could type, that'd be awesome. And then the weight of the package is 7.2 ounces. 7.2 ounces, okay? You see how I'm filling all of that out? And then that's all you need for a domestic package. That's all you need, okay? And then at the bottom of the screen, there's a little green, there's a little green button that says get rates. I click on that. So the the reason why you want to click on get rate get rates, right? Wow, her package is actually cheaper than than most. It's 352. So um, the reason why it wants you to click on get rates is because you have the option of, sh of shipping the package several different ways, right? So let me show you um, what it does is it basically comes up with the, um, it comes up with the cheapest option for you. Oops, it comes up with the cheapest option for you right off the bat. So her package, uh, first class package is going to cost me $3.52, okay, $3.52. Um, if I wanted to ship it, for example, um, priority mail, priority mail, right, is highlighted in blue, that would cost eight fifteen, et cetera. So if depending, I have had customers uh, message me and say, hey, you know what, I really want this package sooner rather than later, I'm willing to pay extra shipping, then we can come up with an arrangement and then I can do that for them, I can ship it first class, I can ship it second day, I can ship it you know, next day or whatever it is, whatever they're willing to pay. All right, so I click um, at the bottom of the screen, there is a buy label button. Okay, so I would just do that. And then it charges me. Hold on a second. I have it set up so that it charges my PayPal account. Okay, so my shipping comes straight out of my PayPal account. You can set it up however you want. If you want to set up a, um, a credit card or link it directly to your bank, I think that's an option as well, you know, so whatever it is. But the thing is that you have to make sure that the funds are there because it deducts it right away. So it's like, it's like, and I just got a notice from PayPal that I just paid pirate ship $3.52. The reason why you want to en enter their email address into pirate ship is that every time you generate a label with their name on it with their e their they get an email automatically saying hey you know we're sending you a package now what I typically do is I grab the you see up here where you see up here where it gives you the tracking number that's the email number that's the tracking number that's going to be sent over to Yvette right now okay she's already gotten an email from me or from pirate ship saying hey your package is on underway now some people um, have really heavy spam filters on their on their on their in their email right and so she may not get the pirate ship <laughs> because it's a weird name she might not get the pirate ship email so what I will do is I will get that tracking number and I will copy it and paste it over into uh, into PayPal I'm not going to show you my PayPal account right now because that's a totally different uh, a totally different training but what I do is right next to her invoice, after she's paid, I put that tracking number in it, okay? So then PayPal will send her an email as well. So um, spam filters will typically not uh, filter out PayPal. Pirate ship, eh, 
it's a little eh, because of the name, okay? Um, the other reason why I do that is because, um, and I guess this is kind of like a huge tip for you if you're considering becoming a, a consultant. Um, I had an eBay business prior to being with paparazzi. This was meant, you know, well, actually this was a few years ago, okay? I did really well with my eBay business, but my mistake was naming my PayPal uh, account after my business. Use your, use your name, use your name, because you never know what business you're gonna be in 10 years from now, okay? So my, my advice to you, when you're thinking about starting out with you know, any company and you're starting out with a, with a PayPal business account, which is, by, by the way, it's free to, to, to switch over, um, use your name use your your full name and that's it uh, because I'll tell you what um, one you never know what you're gonna be involved in in the, in the future right and then two um, what was the other reason oh you can't change the name unless you file you know you're incorporated and you know whatever um, the other thing is also that a lot of people will use their business name like I did, right? Um, and then when I get the when I get the payment from them, and I'm trying to process their label, I don't see their first name. So I'll get you know paparazzi bling goddess, you know uh, on you know has submitted a payment. I'm like, who is that? So I have to look for the email address through my you know through my messages history and everything else. I mean, it's just complicated. We can do a PayPal training afterwards if you want. I mean, I mean later. But um, but basically, what I do is I take that. I take that um, that tracking number and I put it into PayPal because then PayPal says, "All right, cool. She's uh, you know she's shipped the package. So if the package disappears, if it gets damaged, you can put you know you as a customer can file a complaint with the USPS or you can call PayPal and you know they'll they'll try to help you out. But for as for me, you the shipper, right? As for you the shipper, your responsibility ends as soon as you ship the package. All right, so." Let me show you how I print up my label. So go ahead and keep me company when I do that. I think I need another, let's see. Let's see a minute. Okay, so after you have, um, after you're done with your labels, right? Um, you can, this is, ooh, this is part of the reason why I love, 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 love pirate ship. I probably should have done this landscape or whatever. Um, if you actually click on the ship, instead of just putting your mouse over it to create a single label, you see when I put my mouse over it, it says create single, single label right here. I know you can't read that. Um, if you actually click on it, it takes you what's, to what's called end of day. So basically these are all the labels that are ready to go right now, okay? So what I'm going to do, um, the reason why I like the two up labels, these, with my laser printer is because if you print two at a time, then you don't have to re-enter re the sheet and, and try to figure out which side is gonna print on or whatever, okay? So I'm gonna print, uh, I'm gonna print two labels right now. I'm gonna print Yvette's and Delisa's, okay? So let me show you what that looks like. So when you're setting up for a pirate ship, the very first time is going to ask you what kind of labels you want to want to print up and everything else. And so here is my information here, right? So um, let's see. Uh, it it knows that I have a two up setting, right? So eight and a half sheet, eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper, two printing labels per page, right? So it knows that I'm going to do that because I've already set up my uh, set up my my account. And then at when you put your mouse over you know, over that screen again, it has a little printer. You just click that and then you print it and then it's going to come out and I'm going to show you what it looks like. So as it's doing that, poof. All right, cool. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to show you what I do with, uh, with the labels. Hang on a second. It's coming out. Hold on a second. So I hope you really enjoyed this because I actually love to ship packages out and as you see I have a lot to go out today so that's what I'm gonna be doing until I go live okay so this basically so this is what it looks like when it's printed up two up okay two up this high cat this is an eight and a half sheet a sheet by eleven eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper like I said you know and it does have the two labels on there and these are adhesive labels okay so these I printed up two labels and that's what they come out like so when I'm printing 40 or 50 labels I put the an even amount of sheets in there because you know I am kind of OCD right um, I put an even number of sheets of these sticky sheets in there and then I just print them all together and then um, oh I have one more thing to show you 
Ooh, one more thing to show you. I probably should do a different video on that, but let's see if I can if I can show it to you. But this is what they look like. All right, let me package up Sunshine's. Um, see, they come they come right off. I mean, they're just so. Oh, I love these labels. All right, so I'm gonna post a link to the items that I purchased and uh, to to help me with the shipping. So this is basically what I do. Okay, I put the label on the box. It is an adhesive, right? And I just basically fold it over. Those of you who've gotten boxes from me before, you know what your boxes look like. And basically, this is it. So these boxes, like I said, they don't need tape. They don't need tape. So here is Yvette's label. Why is this thing backward? Why? Is it backward? I don't know. There you go. Okay, I, I think, yeah, okay, that's fine. Um, <laughs> so this is Yvette's box, right? It's weighed, it's packed, nothing is moving in there, right? Nothing is moving in there and it's ready to go. So all I do is I put it in a stack and it's going to be going, you know, it's going to go with, uh, it's going to go on the, in my, in my little shipping area, ready to go. Now, the other thing I want to cover about, um, pirate ship, which is actually really, really cool. Um, somebody asked me why I don't use PayPal. I have not figured out how to print two up labels on PayPal. That's the only reason why. Um, is PayPal and pirate ship, are they the same, the same price? I find that pirate ship is a little bit cheaper and it's free and I like the building of the database separate from PayPal and I'll tell you why because when I had my eBay business I have like 6,000 7,000 um, customers in my in my PayPal database right um, and so I you know it's like to me that's like an overcrowding of you know of, of information in there starting with pirate ship I started from you know from scratch I started using pirate ship I believe in um, February, March, or April last year, and I got to see how many customers I have in there. Um, I got to see, you know, like how much I paid for shipping and everything else. I mean, it's just a standalone shipping system, and it's free to use, which I think is absolutely fabulous. Let me change the the screen over for you again, and I will show you. Hold on a second. Let me turn this around. All right, I will show you the really really cool thing about about pirate ship I thought I had one of those sheets in here okay so after you're done shipping right oh um, I didn't send out a text Karen that's why this is an informational video that's why I just decided to just go live because you know this is more for um, education and, and so on <laughs> Kind of like t tips, you know, especially for the ladies who are considering com becoming uh, consultants or for the ladies who are already consultants. This is just a kind of like a help help video. So this here, this part here, I'm going to show that to you. Hold on. Oh, actually, I moved it the wrong way. There you go. This button here, this end of day button is amazing. Okay, because what's going to happen here is that it's going to populate. This is actually going to be a lot of labels at the towards the end of the day, right? And at the end, uh, when I'm done printing up my labels, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, a scan form. Create a scan form. Let me actually print one up and show you what it looks like. <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to show you what it looks like. There you go. I know I'm probably giving you guys a headache with all the switching around, but I thought it would be cool to show you this because basically that's what I'm going to be doing. That's what I'm going to be doing all day uh, or, or actually for the next few hours. Okay, so especially if you have a lot of items to, uh, to, uh, to bring to the post office or to hand over to your mailman, okay, or your mail person. This is what's called the scan sheet, okay? The scan sheet will basically itemize all of the packages that you have. It'll tell you how many priority packages, how many first class packages and everything else that you have. So this number will be like 40 something today, right? All you have to do is give this to your mail person, whether you're taking your packages to, um, to the post office or you're, you're handing it over to your mail person, all you have to do is give them this sheet. Give them this sheet with all of your packages. All they have to do is scan this with their barcode reader and it will check in all of your packages at the same exact time. Let me tell you how much my 
male person at the US my USPS office loves me now because I used to be able to I used to bring like 20 25 30 packages and they'd have to scan them all by hand until I figured this out because this here they only have to click one thing and then they just kind of take all my packages with them okay so just make sure that the number of packages that you're bringing in matches your total down here okay just make sure that it matches that and then and then you're good and then you're good now I will tell you that the scan package or the 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 scan form or the end um, end of day uh, record it, it resets every day so if you're shipping for two days you have to print a scan form every day or for every day okay because every day is, it, it, it resets so if I prepare 10 packages today and then I have 20 tomorrow I will need two scan forms okay and they're more than happy to scan two sheets as opposed to 40 packages all right so I hope that this was really super helpful for you. I am so excited that I, I was able to share this with you. I've been wanting to do this for a really long time, but um, but I you know like I forget like I'm like in the in a zone right. So I did a few of my packages today, and I'm like. <gasps> Ooh, this is really good information to share. So I thought you'd enjoyed that. Um, I, I will share as much information as you want uh, me to share with you. I'm more than happy to do that. I'm gonna finish shop shipping right now and then I'll be on for a sales live later. I love you all. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you have any questions, just go ahead and either post, post them in the comments or message me and I will do another video to help you out, okay? I'm glad you enjoyed it. See you guys later. I'll be on probably in a couple of hours. Uh, to, to do a live show.